Welcome back to Vlogflix. Today I'm inviting you on board to experience three variations of the classic cocktail, Aviation. But before we start, as always, time for a little custom giveaway. This week I prepared a bar set that you need to make today's cocktails. For a chance to win it, rules are the same. Please support this channel by subscribing and leaving a comment of what should I do next. I will choose one random winner and announce it at the end of the video that will be posted next week. Let's go! To make this unique cocktail, we need Ryan Reynolds gin, bittersweet cherry liqueur maraschino, fresh lemon juice, and creme de violette. But our home aviation will be violetless, and actually this version was popular while creme de violette wasn't available. Okay, no shaker, no problem. Let's use a mason jar to shake this cocktail and hope Ryan won't get at me for using the entry-level gin. Add one and a half ounces. Next, we need fresh lemon juice, but before we squeeze it, let's make a small lemon zest. We will use it a little later for a garnish. In this version, if you notice, we use a minimum of tools, so I'm I'm going to show off how strong I am and squeeze half an ounce of lemon juice just with my fingers. Well, works even better than a squeezer, except now we need to remove seeds. Next, three quarters of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Let's use this quality ice from the freezer, fill up a fancy shaker and make this drink to fill some proper turbulence. Turn it into a strainer and pour everything in any chilled glass that you have at home. Squeeze essential oils from lemon zest, toss it inside, drink it fast since we are flying to New York, where the original aviation cocktail was created. Now I will use a mixing glass so you can see all the pretty ingredients that we will put inside, but of course this is a shaken cocktail, so you can pour everything directly into the shaker. Let's make Ryan Reynolds even richer and pour 1.5 ounces of aviation gin. Next is creme de violette, and if you're new to it, it's a floral sweet liqueur with a beautiful violet color. Now half ounce of maraschino liqueur, next squeeze half ounce of fresh lemon juice. This step is optional and not included in the classic recipe, but I think it tastes better if you add just a tiny amount of simple syrup. Fill up shaker with ice and give this cocktail 10 seconds of turbulence. To avoid small pieces of ice getting into your cocktail, use a fine strainer and pour everything into the coupe cool glass. Garnish it with brandy or maraschino cherry. This stunning color will give you a feel of being on a plane flying through the beautiful blue sky to your favorite destination. Actually, yeah, let me know in the comments what is your favorite destination where you would like to go right now. And now let's make my favorite version of aviation, a delicious twist that you probably will love more than the classic one. First, let's infuse gin with butterfly PT. In the mixing glass, add one and a half ounces of your favorite gin. This one is not my favorite, I'm using it just because Ryan Reynolds asked me to. Put few butterfly fly PT flowers and keep it together for about 10 minutes until colorless gin get this magnificent purple color. Let's strain it into the jigger or measuring cup and pour everything into the shaker. Now add a maraschino liqueur. For sweetness let's use just a little bit of simple syrup. Next we need half ounce of elderflower liqueur. We will use a quarter ounce of lemon and also a quarter ounce of lime juice. For rich texture, add a dash of cocktail foamer or a little bit of aquafaba. Fill up shake it with ice and give me a like if I look like a plane pilot who's saying goodbye to you when you're on the way out from the plane. Strain everything into the chilled glass. Look at this foam. And now... Instead of the standard lemon zest, we will use an ice plane and place it on the glass rim or inside of this aviation that tastes like it landed straight from the heaven. Now I wanted to say big thanks to all my Patreon supporters for anyone who wants to support this channel, please check links in the description. And of course thanks to all of you who commented in the previous video top 12 Italian cocktails, our bar set winner is Pierre Leov. Never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you guys in the next video.